Hello Virgo, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're gonna be looking at what's going on in this connection between you and the person you're thinking about or connecting with, and what are you both thinking about the other person? Now let's get into this for Virgo spirit. Well, we got temperance, Sagittarius energy, and justice reverse Libra energy. So something doesn't feel fair, balanced, or just at this point in time, Virgo. Something, it might, there might be a final decision made that's outside of you that is not fair to you or doesn't go your way. I feel like you're trying to find your inner peace with temperance. You're trying to make something work. But I feel like whatever you're trying to make work, it's unfair to you in some way. Maybe you're the only one trying to make something work or maybe you're the only one trying to stay calm and, and balanced and, you know, are actually the one putting in the effort. Maybe you're the only one doing that right now. Let's see, what else? Wow, Queen of Swords, Ten of Swords Reverse. Wow, I feel like this is you cutting something out. What's this? Six of Cups Reverse. Hmm... Maybe you've had some sort of clarity regarding the past or regarding an ending from the past. We'll clarify in a little bit and see. But this is you, like you you are uh, not messing around here with this Queen of Swords. This is very direct communication, no nonsense communication, absolute clarity. It's also someone that has healthy boundaries, is thinking of themselves and guarding their heart. Clear-headed, okay, what else for Taurus? Not Taurus, Virgo. <laughs> what else for Virgo? Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus. The hangman. Not a lot of action or movement right now. There might be a silence or a lot of thinking being done here, but no actual movement. Wow, and then the magician. So never mind. You're thinking about what to do. There's no action right now, but make no mistake, you're gonna make something happen here with the magician. The magician doesn't play. This is all about action, power, harnessing your power to make something happen. So that's beautiful. Let me clarify these energies for, for I keep wanting to say Taurus, for Virgo. Let me clarify these energies, please, for, for Virgo. Tell me about Justice Reverse. Why is Justice Reverse? Whatever this is, I feel like it, at first you're gonna feel kind of stuck. But then I have the Knight of Swords. So, quick movement. It's almost like at first, I don't know, like maybe you're trying to protect yourself depending on like whatever's coming in with this justice reverse. Perhaps you're just waiting for information before you make a certain decision here. This could be your person as well. What's this Knight of Swords about? This is quick, quick communication. this knight of swords about king of pentacles reverse this whatever this is i mean it could be a divorce for some of you some sort of legal separation um this could also be something that affects you financially whatever this decision is that's not in your favor or whatever situation you're in where you're trying to keep the, the balance but the other person maybe is not meeting you halfway i feel like this could be affecting you financially your stability here. Tell me about this Ten of Swords Reverse. Ten of Swords Reverse is usually a separation or ending that has already taken place. And now it's like you're ready to move on with your life. Forgive, release, let go and move on. Tell me about this Ten of Swords Reverse. There's probably fear here, anxiety, a lot of overthinking here sleepless nights perhaps you don't know what to do at this point yeah the, lots of um worry here it could be thinking about family issues family 
thinking about how unhappy you are. You could be heartbroken, disappointed by what has happened. Tell me about the Ten of Swords reverse. Very anxious energy. Yeah, I feel like, hmm. Again, with the when I when I see this Four of Pentacles with this Queen of Swords, it's like you're trying to protect your heart. You're trying to protect yourself, guard yourself from being hurt. Perhaps you've closed yourself off here. Could also be that you are trying to be smart, frugal, um, careful. Maybe you want to be a little greedy right now. I mean, I wouldn't I have the sun at the bottom. So maybe you're trying to think of your own happiness right now. What's this magician about? What's this magician about? Queen of Wands. Yeah, you want something, Virgo. And you want something... And it's like, you're just going to go and get it. There, you, There's no holding you back here with the Magician and the Queen of Wands. Yeah. Temperance, again, you're going to make something happen. Maybe the first time you weren't so successful, but... Or perhaps it just wasn't the right time the first time around. But this time, you're going to make something happen. Whole new beginning here. Have the Death card with the Fool. Can I get one card, please, for this Queen of Swords? Six of Swords reverse, three of Wands reverse. Interesting. I feel like you felt stuck in a situation. Maybe like someone's preventing you from leaving, from moving on. Maybe you missed an opportunity in the past, or you're frustrated at having to wait or be patient. Tell me more, please, for Virgo. Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past. Exactly. That's exactly what you're doing. You're letting go of the past. Forgiving and learning. What else for Virgo? What other messages do you have for Virgo? Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor. Exactly. I feel like you're thinking about money here. Worried about money, maybe. Saving money. Having money. Because I feel like over here, someone like um, with the King of Pentacles reverse, they could have um, been unfair with you regarding assets or finances. Make the effort. So, yeah. I feel like you are... Ready to put in the work, uh, willing to put in the work here. But I don't think that's the problem. I don't think effort is the problem. I think you're more than able to make effort and do what, needs to, what you need to do here. With the Queen of Wands and the Temperance card. You're just waiting for the right time here. I think it's more everything else. So let's see. What other information can we get here? Let's actually look at how they're thinking or feeling about you. So I'm going to be using my new Secret Moon Oracle deck. This is out now. If you're curious, it's linked down below. All right, let's see. What is this person thinking or feeling about Virgo? Thinking or feeling about Virgo, please. So far, I haven't really picked up the other person in this reading. We'll see. What is this person that you're interested in? What are they thinking or feeling about you, Virgo? Or the person that you're dealing with? What are they thinking or feeling about you? I'm confused. What else? What are they thinking or feeling about Virgo? I want forever with you. You're confused, but you want forever with Virgo. Okay, what else? else for Virgo? What are they thinking or feeling about Virgo? 
Ooh, we got expect a message. This person could be reaching out to you, Verbo. Verbo. <laughs> Virgo. Can't even talk. This person could be reaching out to you. They want forever with you, but they're confused. I wonder why they're confused. Let's see. Tell me more about how this person is thinking or feeling when it comes to Virgo, please. What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Virgo? What is this person thinking or feeling when it comes to Virgo? Ah, page of coin reverse. What are they thinking or feeling? When it comes to Virgo or this connection. Seven of Swords. King of Swords reverse. Well, there's outright deception here. I feel like someone's deceiving the other person so they don't leave or something to do with their departure is a lie. What in the world? What is this page of coin reverse here? Virgo, who are you dealing with? Four of Wands. This could be somebody that you live with, have a family with. Maybe they want forever with you here, uh, Four of Wands. But there's no offer in place, no commitment, not even the beginning of a commitment here. The devil, Capricorn energy, this is restriction, temptation, wrong choices. Interesting. I, I don't know if your person, Virgo, is in a commitment or you are in a commitment. But when they think about you, they think about the fact that there is no commitment or offer here because of the Four of Wands and the Devil. What's this Devil about? Queen of Wands. So this is really um, hot chemistry, attraction, magnetic attraction. There's a lot of, of attraction here. Seven of Wands and Resistance too. Nine of Swords due to fear. Interesting. Someone could also be wanting to fight for this, Virgo. Like maybe this person wants to fight for you, but there's this devil in the way, this devil energy. Or there's no uh, solid foundation to build this on. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. So Lovers Reverse Gemini Energy. And there you are, the Hermit. There could have been a separation here or some sort of disconnect. I feel also like there's an avoidance energy, like someone like ran away or escaped. This could be you or them, ghosted, stopped talking, something like that. So I'm seeing two different things. Page of Cups. Someone could be apologizing for this. They could be apologizing to you, Virgo, for ghosting you or for whatever happened here between you or you need to apologize to them. Oh, I have the Ten of Swords reverse at the bottom. So this could be connected to that ending. Tell me about the King of Swords reverse. The Wheel of Fortune. Tell me about the King of Swords reverse. Ace of Wands, Reverse. The Hierophant, the King of Coin. This is definitely someone like in a long-term commitment here. With the Hierophant and the King of Coin. I don't know if this is you or this other person. I feel like something hasn't officially taken off here. But there is something coming your way with the Wheel of Fortune. Progression forward. Let's see. Let's grab a whole different deck. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune for Virgo. What's this Wheel of Fortune about for Virgo? 
What's the Wheel of Fortune about for Virgo, please, Spirit? Oh my god, more deception. This is straight up deception or just bad communication. Tell me more about the Wheel of Fortune. Ace of Swords reverse, Queen of Swords reverse. Yikes. Okay, two. Higher font reverse. Four of Swords. Look at this. It's almost like the Wheel of Fortune is going to cause this to happen. Like, like you're going to be moving away from this, possibly. Higher font reverse with the higher font up right here. Very interesting. It's almost like someone could be deceiving you, Virgo, to keep you in a commitment. But I don't think it's going to work. I feel like you're going to move on from this, heal from this, possibly with a Four of Swords. Could have been very difficult, whatever that was. Tell me more about this Four of Swords. Wow, yeah, you were very disappointed. There could have been something that was hidden from you, Virgo. Who the hell is this? Page of Coin Reverse, Five of Wands. This is a mess, Virgo. What have you been dealing with? Let me know if this is resonating for you. What have you been dealing with? I feel like this is a lot of drama, lies, deception. I feel like that Wheel of Fortune is desperately needed. And for some reason, I don't know if this is your person being like, like the person you're interested in. I don't know if they're lying to you or if this is someone else. Let's see. What are their next actions going to be towards Virgo? What are their next actions going to be towards Virgo, please? Yeah. What are their next actions going to be towards Virgo? What are their next actions going to be towards Virgo, please? Three of coin reverse. What are their next actions going to be? Queen of coin. The lovers, wow. A choice, a union, competing with a Gemini or another earth sign doesn't have to be, but that's what I'm seeing here so far. Four of cups, interesting. Three of coin reverse, there could be a third person here. Either this is someone that you're dealing with that's affecting the connection that you want to have or vice versa. This is their, they're dealing with someone else. Five of cups reverse. Why is the three of coin reverse? Seven of wands reverse. The chariot reverse, yikes. And then we have the hangman at the bottom. No movement, no progression. A whole change in direction is probably needed here or things that are, a stand, are at a standstill. I feel like Virgo, for some of you, it's like you've, maybe this person has felt like giving giving up on this connection because there hasn't been any movement even though they want to regain what they've lost all they can do is just think about it because of a third party interference page of coin reverse again tell me about the queen of coin king of swords communication there's a serious discussion here with the king of swords not messing around I feel like it has to do with this choice with the lovers here Knight of Cups reverse interesting it's almost like they're gonna tell you what what they weren't able to tell you before the moon yeah it's almost like they want to talk to you about what you don't know or about the confusion or about you know, what's being hidden, what hasn't been expressed. Tell me about the lovers. Two of wands. This is definitely a choice. A path. They're going to choose a path here. 
death reverse scorpio energy temperance reverse sagittarius energy i feel like maybe there's more more time needed to close out a cycle here there could be resistance here to an ending either you know this person's scared or needing to work something out first virgo or you do Ten of Cups reverse again with the family situation or like the unhappiness. I feel like there's still loose ends here. If this did resonate, please let me know down in the comments and I'll see you all in another video. Take care.